Today, our focus is on Barbara Kingsolver's exceptional novel, The Poisonwood Bible. This book serves as a mirror, reflecting the tale of a family's dramatic unraveling amidst the verdant landscapes of the Congo during the late 1950s. Through a blend of historical accounts, profound character explorations, and the unveiling of cultural disparities, Kingsolver paints a vivid tableau of passion, resilience, and transformation. Set against the backdrop of the Belgian Congo in the tumultuous era of the late 1950s, the Poisonwood Bible intimately chronicles the lives of the Price family from Georgia. Nathan Price, the zealous and stubborn patriarch, an evangelical Baptist, feels a divine calling to embark on a missionary journey to this unfamiliar territory. His mission is supported, though not without trepidation, by his wife Orleana and their four unique daughters, Rachel, Leah, Ada, and Ruth May. From the outset, the Prices grapple with the stark contrasts between their American upbringing and the realities of Congolese village life. Malaria, malnutrition, and political instability are just a few of the challenges they encounter. Yet Nathan remains steadfast, often obstinately so, in his goal to convert the local villagers to Christianity. His misguided attempt to create a demonstration garden with plants alien to the African soil epitomizes his failure to understand and appreciate the culture and traditions of the people he's attempting to save. But this story isn't just about Nathan's relentless pursuit. It's the tales of his wife and daughters that breathe life and emotion into the pages. Rachel, the eldest, is preoccupied with the comforts and luxuries of American life. Her superficiality often blinds her to the deeper issues at play. Throughout the novel, Rachel's primary concern remains her well-being, often to the detriment of understanding those around her. As circumstances in the Congo become more treacherous, Rachel seeks ways to distance herself from the chaos and return to a life of comfort. Leah begins the journey with genuine enthusiasm, looking up to her father. But as she witnesses the effects of his unyielding behavior on the locals and their own family, she grows disillusioned. Her bond with Anatole, an educated Congolese teacher and political thinker, shapes her views and allegiances, making her an active participant in the Congolese struggle for sovereignty. Ada, Leah's twin, navigates the world with hemiplegia, giving her a unique lens through which to observe her surroundings. Often choosing silence over speech, Ada's reflections provide readers with a critical and poetic view of the events unfolding around her. Her love for the Congo deepens over time, leading her to return to Africa in her later years, dedicating herself to medicine and healing. Ruth May, the youngest and perhaps the most adaptable, embraces the new culture by trying to learn the local language and customs. However, a fatal snake bite tragically ends her life, forever changing the trajectory of the Price family. Following this devastating event, Orleana, drowning in guilt, gathers her remaining daughters and leaves the Congo, abandoning Nathan to his fanatical pursuits. Decades later, the repercussions of their time in the Congo continue to reverberate through the lives of the surviving Price women, shaping their destinies in profound ways. Through the Poisonwood Bible, King Solver masterfully brings forth themes of cultural ethnocentrism, the often destructive nature of blind faith, and the multifaceted process of individual maturation amidst societal upheaval. The novel's narrative structure, which pivots between the perspectives of the five priced women, adds depth and richness, allowing readers to experience the Congo and its complexities from diverse viewpoints. Beyond the personal tales of the Price family, the book delves deeply into the post-colonial narrative. The Congolese fight for freedom from Belgian rule parallels the Price family's struggles, drawing attention to the broader historical context and the lasting impact of Western interference in African nations. King Solver's characters are not mere fictional creations, but embodiments of real human reactions to adversity. Rachel's self-centeredness, Leah's awakening to social justice, Ada's introspective wisdom, and Orleana's motherly despair represent a spectrum of human responses to the challenges that life throws at us. In wrapping up, the Poisonwood Bible is not just a narrative of a family, but an enlightening exploration of the confluence of cultures, politics, and personal growth. King Solver's artistry in weaving these threads together offers readers a tapestry of emotions, reflections, and insights. For those passionate about understanding the nuances of human nature set against the grand stage of history, this novel is a must-read. If this deep dive resonated with you, please consider subscribing to the channel. Your support will undoubtedly help in our continued journey through the realms of literary masterpieces. 
We appreciate your time and engagement.